Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a day of the week filter with a dark overlay and also with some additional text like this in the Spaghetti Art Studio. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this day of the week filter with a dark overlay and also with an additional text. The first step we have to do is to create a material for our dark overlay. So for this I go to the assets bundle, click on the little plus and here create a new material. I will rename this material to dark. Then I select the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now I go down to the shader properties to diffuse and here click on the color which is um, yeah, white when you create the material but I will set it to black but of course you can choose any color you want for example a dark blue or a dark red but I will stick to yeah, black so then I hit ok and now I have changed the color of the material to black. The next step is to create a rectangle where we can apply this material to. For this we go to our scene, click on the little plus and then here search for rectangle. Now Spark AR will automatically create this canvas object with a rectangle inside. And I will also rename this rectangle object to dark. Now you can see this rectangle here in the viewport but we want it to that it covers the whole screen. So for this I select the rectangle we have just created, then I go to the right hand side and here set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. So now I go down to materials, click on the little plus and here I select my dark material. Now we have a black screen, but yeah, let's change this. So we go back to our material, click on it, then again go to the right hand side, go down to the render options and here we set the opacity to let's say 50 or 40 percent. But of course you can play around so your filter get the look you want. So the next step we have to do is to insert yeah, our day of the week here. So for this we go to our scene bundle, click on the little plus and here we search for 2D text. Now we click on it and then hit on hit insert. So now we can see the text is appearing here on the left upper corner and it says text. So the first step is that I will rename my 2D text 0 to day. So then I select my day, go to the right hand side and then set the width to fill width. So now my text is centered. Now I want my text to be in a white color because then it has a better contrast. So for this I go down to the, to the typography, then down to color and here I set the color from black to white. But of course you can choose any color you want. So then I hit OK and now my text is white. So now I want it that it is centered in the screen. For this I go to my viewport, then here on the left upper corner of the viewport you can change the mode from edit 3D objects to edit 2D objects. So now it is much simpler to, yeah, to drag around the text in the screen. So just drag around the text where you want it. So I will set it here to the middle of the screen. And yeah, the next step is that we change this text to the yeah, current day of the week. So for this we select the, the day layer, go to the right hand side, go down to typography and here at text we see this placeholder text at the moment which says text. So the first thing is that we delete this text and then we go down to dynamic text. Then here we click on insert. So now we can choose a lot of data here, for example the time, short, time long, the date and also day of week. Now just click on day of week and here the, act, the day which is today will show up here in this text field. So now I also want to change the text to all uppercase. So for this I go to the text where we have some code now inside which was automatically created when we clicked on day of week and here you can find in this code the word title case and now we change the title to upper and when we have done this all the letters are in upper case so now that's pretty nice but we also want to yeah insert another text underneath the day of the week so for this again we go to our scene 
click on the little plus and here we also search again for 2D text. Now I will rename this 2D text to just text so I know which layer is the day layer and which one is the text layer. So again, the text is here on the left upper corner to stretch it to the whole width. We go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width. So now the text is again here at the top, but we can just drag it down underneath the Monday text. I will change now again the color of the text to white. And now I will also change the size of the text. At the moment it is the same size like the day, but I want it a little bit smaller. So I set the font size to let's say 15. So now I just select my text and then go to the right hand side again to typography. And now I insert a text I want to display underneath my day. So yeah, I have here some example text, which will now appear underneath the text. At the moment, the text fill is stretched to the whole width, but if you want it not that it goes to, um, yeah, don't cover the whole width, you can just go to your viewport and then here just change the size of it. So yeah, I will change it to this and then also make sure that it is centered at the screen. But now we, you see the line spacing is a little bit too much. So I will also change this. I select again the text, go to the right hand side, go down to typography and there you can find line spacing which is set to 30. But yeah, I will set it down to let's say 20 or even more to 15. So yeah, now I think that looks pretty good. Good, and now we have successfully created a day of the week filter with an additional text and also a dark overlay. And there are a lot of parameters you can change, for example, the colors, the size, the font, the font size, um, also the um, font itself and so on. So just play around and you will get a nice filter. So thanks for watching. I hope I could help you with this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.